Hi everyone and welcome back to Jubilee Road for another extension update. So we're just going to run through exactly what it looks like now for another quick update because I've uh, been working on it and uh, more to show you. Well, the track is not in place. Uh, this is kind of the area the point is going to go so I can still get the trains into that little siding there. And then the main line will obviously come down this way. That building won't be there, that's just just been replaced. Uh, you can see the black line there is where the, core, the curve will be once the track is laid. Uh, this is actually going to be a small country sort of station here, just before going around the other bend. And I was thinking, what name can I call this? You know, it's always nice to name your stations on your layout, so I think I've come up with this station will be called Clifton Bridge. It's quite a nice uh, st um, station name for a country station. Really nice. So we carry on. And another black line, you can kind of see where the um, curve is going to go in the track. Uh, this is the new bit, which I it wasn't in the, the last video. So all this from now on is the new bit, which you haven't seen. So the boards are in place now. Uh, the bridge is fitted. Obviously we're going to do some work underneath that because it doesn't look right at all at the moment. If we carry on going down there you can also see the boards, well the woodwork's actually finished. If you keep up to date on the Facebook page you would see that I put that up there yeah, yesterday. And you can see the board which runs all the way down to the uh, other end. And I'll go down there to show you a bit more. Now I'm down, down the other um, end of the layout and you can just, uh, well, there's the bridge. Let me just zoom in so you can quite, kind of get exactly how it's going to look. You can just see it there. You've got the bridge and the curve just up the uh, top. Uh, this is the steepest, uh, oh, there's one of my uh, German locos trundling around the track there. Uh, this section here, from where the bridge is down to this point, is fairly steep. Um, we're going to have to do a little bit of testing there on how much my locos can get up there, but it shouldn't be too bad. We should be able to get, you know, a loco and four, maybe even five coaches up that, but we'll do some testing on that, as I said. And then it comes down into this area. This is where my uh, workbench used to be, as you all know if you've been following my videos. Points are already got those, so they're all ready to go. You know, there's quite a big area, if you can just see there. Um, the the uh, new station will be going across where the chimney breast is. And the track will be this side of it. And then the rest of the space is going to be taken up by the Collas Depot, which I've been mentioning uh, for a while. Uh, the shed is here. It's, um, actually I'm not sure where it is. It is up in the attic somewhere. Yeah, it must, it's, it's up here somewhere, but... Uh, that will be going in place. Now, see, I don't know if I can show you how s sort of steep this is. If I put the, you can kind of get an idea. You know, guys, let me let me know if you think that's a li uh, too steep. In my opinion, I don't. I honestly don't think it is. This is a branch line, so I'm not going to get the really really heavy trains um, going up up this bank at all. So. Does it really matter this tad on the steep side? No, no, of course it doesn't. Um, a two-car DMU is going to be a, uh, a very frequent um, train along here. Maybe short coal trains. But, of course, me being me, we got to see how many coaches we can get up at once. But that will be, that'll be in t uh, two or three weeks once we get all that up and running. It's just a really uh, short short video today just to kind of show you exactly how it's going. There's that German train again. It must be going round in circles. Never seen that before. Strange. Only joking obviously. So yeah, I'm really happy with the, the uh, progress. Now, scenery wise on this, just to give you a quick, um, well not update I suppose, just a quick talk on how I'm going to do it. The ready rocks, which I've been using, will be covering the gap on that side. You can see running up there, they will cover that gap. And down the outside of the board running, sort of along here, 
I'm going to be using wire mesh. Um, I'm going to try that method of shaping the banks and rocks. Um, I've seen other people do it, so I'm going to have a try at that. And obviously we've got to put the scenery underneath the uh, bridge and as it goes up there. Well, I'm back up by the bridge again because this is where more scenery is going to be happening. Um, in this area that the camera's pointing at, I'm actually going to put another tunnel in. Sort of just after the curve of the track and it will finish not far off where, well, where the bridge begins. Um, because we have to uh, shape the track in a slightly odd way to get it in position as it comes across where that straight piece of track is. So, so I thought, well, we'll just hide it by having a rock tunnel. You know, to add a bit more to the scenery, won't it? So yeah, I'm really happy. It's going to be a really good addition to this layout, especially when running sessions. That will be really nice, that. And you can... My engines will really have to work hard. And then the line, as usual, go in to, which is platform 4, just there. Um, I, as I said, I'm hoping to get it up and running in about two to three weeks. Um, but as, as usual, I'll keep you up to date on Facebook. If you haven't joined that already, please do. It's always good to, uh, to keep up what's going on. The first event that I'm hopefully going to be running on the new extension will be the LNER week, which is kind of to celebrate uh, the return to steam of Flying Scotsman, which I'm sure you all know it's running, and it's absolutely fantastic. And, uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to go and see that at some point this year, so keep out, keep your eyes up open for that one. Um, I don't know if you can tell, you might not be able to, but I'm actually using an external microphone. I'll just show it to you there. I am using a new external microphone. I thought we'd have a go and see what they're like. I don't know if it makes any difference at all when I'm just talking. I'm not sure. So if it does, or doesn't, or you think it's worse, I don't think it was worse, just, just let me know. But I think it'll come into its own when I'm outside and uh, filming. I don't know. You know, paid about 20 quid for it on eBay, so... And it's got an 800 hour battery life. Wow, that's pretty, uh, pretty impressive. Yeah, so that's uh, the end of this quick video. It was just to show you, um the progress on the extension. Let's come down here and kind of see how steep it is. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out. So lastly then I think we'll have a nice close-up shot of that German loco running past and that will be the end of the video again. Well, thank you very much again, everyone, for watching. Um, I hope you're enjoying the new extension. I sure am. It's quite exciting, actually. Um, I will be uploading another out of the window uh, video during the week, so keep updated with that. And I hope you're enjoying that new series as well. So, once again, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, speak to you all again soon. Bye, everyone.